Well, Swan Lake was the first of Tchaikovsky's three ballet scores, which changed the history of ballet forever. Ballet composers in the 19th century were specialists. They, they were writing music according to the desires of the ballet masters. They needed this many counts, they needed in this tempo. These specialists would then create these scores, which kind of got a bad rap because they're not the most memorable music in the world. They're usually filled with beautiful tunes, nice rhythms, very easy to dance to, so very comfortable uh, for dancers. And here you have Tchaikovsky, who is you know, asked to, to write a ballet score. And one of the first things that he did was he went into a library and he started to research and look at examples of what had proceeded. But essentially, he couldn't escape the fact that he was a symphonist and a dramatist. And so there's drama that is just surging through this score. Because of the richness of the score, there's a temptation for choreographers and dancers to say, oh, you know, I'd really like this piece from this pas de six into this pas de trois. They've taken it apart, then it's our job to try to put it back together and make it cohesive. I kind of think of it as like a Lego set, where you know that at the end of it, it's gonna be Swan Lake, but how you piece it together changes every single time. This is where it's all happening these days. Hi, Jacques. This is Jacques Forrest, our librarian. And uh, come on in, we're gonna show you what the past and future look like in a music library. Talk about our heritage, right? These are George Crumb, he was our first music director. These are the scores that he would have conducted for Karen. All of these cabinets are filled with music, and in the past, these were all marked by hand. Here, for example, so this part of the piece is not being used, so we, you know, it's a little bit of like arts and crafts, and our uh, old librarian would cut this out, and then the musicians would go to there. But now, rather than do this by hand, everything is done digitally. This is a list on this side of all of the cuts from the choreographers and from the various versions, and Jacques keeps this list, and then he goes into each individual part, and then digitally, things are, are put in or taken out, and then reassembled, then we'll go back and they will be printed and given to the musicians. The other thing that Tchaikovsky did, Swan Lake begins with a single oboe note and a descending scale, and that becomes the light motif, the main light motif for the piece. In my mind, this is Odette. And then we hear it later on towards the end of Act One, going into Act Two, when we go to the lake. And now the theme is inverted and it's upside down because I think we hear a reflection of that in the lake. Then we have Odette's entrance. And now it's transformed, it's back to the original version, but with a much different quality and you can, you can sense her apprehension and you know th this beautiful choreography with a, a foot fluttering or a, a wing moving this way. It's perfectly expressed in this music. And I've always felt that the duality of Odile and Odette, that idea of reflection in this ballet is very, very present.